This is Visual Studio 2013 ALM and Team Foundation Server is a central hub. TFS along with Visual Studio provides you a complete end-to-end -end application lifecycle management system. So right from your requirements gathering, designing your application, developing your application and while developing source coding your you know, code or application, building it, deploying, testing your application, it can be your business logic testing, that is unit testing, manual testing, automation testing, and even performance testing. The complete application lifecycle management, that is from the initiation of the idea, define, definition of the idea to the completion of the project and the maintenance till the application is discontinued. So the complete thing can be done using Visual Studio ALM and the team foundation server provides these core features that is the requirements management where you can collect uh, log requirements and manage and track down the requirements and many other project management features where you can break down your requirements into tasks you can manage your iterations or sprints you can manage allocation of work and you can track the progress of the work using project management management features of team foundation server and TFS also provides version controlling. You can source code your application. And then and there are many more features provided under version control like branching, merging, branch visualization, and shelving your you know half done code into Team Foundation Server without checking in. And many check-in policies or rules which will enforce the developers or the team members to follow those rules before checking in, like writing comments or doing unit testing and all these things is governed by process okay so TFS provides by default agile that is Microsoft solution framework based MSF based agile scrum and CMMI so these process templates consist of the different work item types for different purpose or different activities we do in software development that is task work item for all the tasks we do like writing code or you know changing some settings or doing anything in the development then there's a bug work item for logging issues or I mean uh, defects or bugs there is a requirement work item or you can call it as product backlog item or user story based on the process template you are using to log requirements so like that there are different work item types available for different activities we do in software development. Apart from that, they are checking policies, they are reporting, yes. So whatever you do in DFS, whether you create a work item, you check in your code or you do a build or you create a test case or execute a test case, everything is saved in Team Foundation Server. Backend it is SQL Server, so everything is saved in a centralized hub. and TFS provides by default reporting system where you can see the traceability from requirements to tasks to your code or to your bug or to your test cases and you can you know see the progress of the iteration or a sprint or bug status so so many reports are available out of the box so with this you can achieve end to end traceability and also TFS provides lab management facility where you can test your application on different environments using virtualization technologies provided by Microsoft that is hypervisor not only this you can even go and customize the processes that is the methodologies given by team foundation server and customize according to your needs or streamline the process for your organization okay so this is team foundation server the centralized hub coming to the client part we need to use team explorer which is a client component for team foundation server and team explorer is inbuilt in visual studio all the editions of visual studio and even i can install it as standalone okay so apart from that i can access tfs through ms office that is excel or Microsoft Project Professional or MS Project okay so 
for team members, for people who are comfortable using Excel or MPP or who are doing project management, they can still work with Excel, connect to Team Foundation Server, create tasks in Excel or MPP and just publish to Team Foundation Server and vice versa. So it is two way synchronized. And if somebody does modifications in uh, Visual Studio, using Visual Studio to your work items, you have to just refresh in Excel, you will be able to see the updates. And there's a web access feature. So using just a browser, you can connect to Team Foundation server and you can pretty much do all the project management things using web access. Right from creating your sprints, adding items to the sprints, adding members to the sprints, allocating the work, capacity, all these things can be done using web access. And now with 2013, you can do even testing with web access that is browser based where you can create test case and execute manual test case using web access. So th this will be helpful for the folks who doesn't want to install or who uh, no, uh, doesn't require any softwares to be installed. They have to just create task or they want to see the reports. So in that case, I can go ahead with web access. SharePoint, yes. So TFS comes with SharePoint, which is a collaboration platform where I can share information with the team. Like it can be documents, it can be announcements or events, any other information. Okay, so TFS by default comes with uh, SharePoint Foundation, which is a free version of SharePoint. But if I have a SharePoint server, SharePoint server 2013 licensed version, I can still integrate SharePoint with Team Foundation server and leverage all the features of SharePoint server. That it can be customized uh, dashboards or you know customized uh, SharePoint sites, weekly links, so many other things can be done if I have a SharePoint server integrated with Team Foundation server. So let's say I'm, I'm working on Java application and I'm using Eclipse ID, okay, but still I want to leverage all the features of Team Foundation server, okay. Yes, I can still do that. So using Team Explorer everywhere. So I have to install this on top of my Eclipse ID. Then I can connect to TFS within my Eclipse ID and check in my source code or create task or requirements or access the task or requirements and work on the code, check in version control. Even I can do build, okay. So it is possible for non-Microsoft development also using Team Explorer everywhere. Not only Java, many other technologies and it can be installed on non-Microsoft OS also. Okay, so coming to Visual Studio, yes, Visual Studio comes with uh, different flavors or editions. With 2013, we have a Visual Studio Professional, 2013 Visual Studio Premium, Ultimate, and uh, Visual Studio Test Professional. Visual Studio Professional is a very basic edition for developers, they, where they can just uh, create application and uh, build. Whereas Premium comes with all the quality enabled uh, tools or features. Okay, where you can write uh, unit test cases with code coverage, you can enable code metrics for your application, see the maintainability of the code, or you can enable profiling to your application, and you can even you can do UI testing, that is automation testing, using premium edition of Visual Studio. Ultimate, so as the name suggests, it's ultimate edition, which has all the features of professional premium, and it has uh, some more features where you can do architecture modeling, UML modeling. There's an advanced debugging tool called as IntelliTrace in Ultimate Edition, which will be uh, very helpful for the developers. And you can do performance testing using uh, Visual Studio Ultimate. Then there's a test professional, which is an another component. This is only for manual testers. So if I'm a manual tester, I don't want to use uh, Ultimate or a premium. I don't want to use Visual Studio ID. So there is a separate ID for manual testers that is called as Microsoft Test Manager. So if I install a Visual Studio Test Professional, I'll get MTF, Microsoft Test Manager, wherein I can go ahead and create test case, execute test case, and file a bug if I find any issue in the application. So this was uh, Visual Studio and different editions of Visual Studio. Coming to the integration part, Project Server, which is another product from Microsoft, which is uh, 
mainly for project management and enabled i mean uh, for portfolio management okay enterprise level uh, project management where you can even do budgeting or resource allocation and so many things across projects okay so if i integrate team foundation server with project server i can leverage all the features provided by even project server and tfs system center which is under product from microsoft system center group it is and under system center i have a system center operation manager okay scom which is used to monitor your applications or servers okay so uh, let's say I, i'm monitoring an application and if i come across any issue in the application as a member of a production team i want to communicate this issue with my development team so earlier we used to send a mail take a snapshot or collect some logs and send a mail and track but with tfs and system center integration from system center directly i can create a bug which will be created in team foundation server and i can assign it to the developer and later i can track like in tfs we have bug work item with a different uh, state flow so whenever i create a new bug it will mean active state and i can try i can track whether it is resolved or closed what is the progress of the bug and i don't have to you know spend time and you know effort in collecting all the information the tool itself will collect all the information and it will be passed on as attachments to the bug work item so that is the advantage of using uh, system center with team foundation server windows azure yeah so i can deploy my team foundation server on azure platform microsoft has tfs on cloud and people can connect to tfs on cloud and access most of the features provided by tfs wherein i don't have to set up tfs locally on premises the tfs will be managed and maintained by microsoft or any other company i have to just you know uh, access it and use it and pay for it okay so as i say tfs comes with a sql server as a back end data storage system so whatever we do in tfs whether you create a work item or you check in your code or you create a bug or file a bug or create a test case everything is saved in sql server so yes tfs and visual studio provides hundreds and thousands of features by default but still if we want to go ahead and if something is missing and we want to achieve it so microsoft has provided apis exposed apis where we can use those apis and build applications which will connect to team foundation server and add many more features so we can write plugins or apis to which will connect to tfs and uh, we can customize it so this is visual studio application life cycle management product 